Hello YouTube, uh, today we are installing a LED bar. Now I got this LED bar from Oxbeam, uh, link in description. It is a huge LED bar. Now I have small car, this Opel Corsa here, and I got a pretty big LED bar. Now I'm not compensating on anything, but I got this 50 something inch LED bar. Just look at it. Look at the size of this LED bar. It is huge. Now uh, I made my own wiring here. This, this does not come with uh, own wiring. So I made a wiring with a 10, 10 square, min square millimeter uh, wires. The normal wiring here is uh, uh, a bit smaller. I think it was uh, around four square millimeter uh, wiring, but I made my own relays and everything like that. If you want to know how this is uh, put together, I will show you a link, uh, no, not a link, a picture of wiring this up. And when we are installing, I will be explaining what goes where and why. Now about this LED bar. Now in center here are LED bulbs to give a nice straight uh, beam on your LED bar to uh, see as further as possible. And on the side here, it, it, these lamps have these uh, diffusers in front of them. So they give uh, not a focused beam, but more like a, a blurred beam all around the sides of the car. Now this uh, lamp here is a 5D, I think it was on the website, 5D, 5 dimension LED diffuser. Uh, I'm not actually really sure what that means, but it is huge and it has a nice big aluminium frame here and very very rigid uh, frame and I'm gonna test this in uh, Finnish winter. Now let's say in um, a few months here it will be uh, around minus 20 up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. So uh, uh, are these LEDs capable of uh, working in that condition? We'll find out in this um, winter uh, but now i'm just gonna install it and test how good the beam is now this is i think i did not found a e-certificate here so in, here in finland you can have this but you need to have a relay to when you install it uh, you cannot use it while driving but it is a work light so you can use it on private roads and keep some extra light and just for show effect now my my corsa here in in finland where we live in city I actually don't need this kind of LED bar, but it is huge. And I'm gonna install it underneath here because it's so wide. If I install it on the roof, it goes like 15 centimeters uh, on the other side uh, from the car. But if I install it here, it will barely, barely, barely fit in here. Now uh, let's go into the installing processor, uh, procedure uh, and Oh boy, it's big. First, we remove the bumper. We need a uh, Phillips head 2 and a 8mm socket. And we will be removing these. These from here, uh, probably it's just hooked in from here and from the both sides. We need to take this off so we can uh, take this off or drill this off so we can fit the lead bar underneath there. Now the bumper is gone, uh, it was hooked in here some days ago, but it has already broken many 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 years ago. Well, not many years ago, it's so low, this car is so low so that it just hits, the bumper hits any any places. Actually we have here a couple of connections all, also, but they are all broken. Now we take this uh, angle grinder and grind this uh, thing out of here. Okay, now it's out from the way. It's still pretty hot. Next, we make some room for our LED bar. Now, when the LED bar is where we want it to be, then we take this uh, water marker, whiteboard marker here, and just make some markings all around here where we want it to be fitted in. Uh, you don't need to be uh, that kind of very precise here. Just add some markings here and there and cut with the angle grinder so we can fit this inside. <laughs> now when the fuse is blown and we have a nice too small opening here now we're gonna put a bumper back in place and let's find out how we connect this into the mainframe of the car now Oxbeam LED bar comes with 
set of uh, hexagon screws here and some bolts and nuts to connect. There's a light, big worm here. Ew! Oh, go away. Uh, and you can get these these bars uh, with a. Uh, a grommet here so you, we don't scratch our brand new front bumper here so I will be just connecting these to here and let's find out where we can connect these how we can put them here maybe like so now <coughs> I removed my front bumper again and just fitted the lead bar in it fits quite nicely it's not too big not too wide not nothing everything extra i just need to make some small holes here so i can put the brackets from the other side thus keeping it in keeping it not falling off and probably i need to make some some bracings behind here to connect this uh, very nicely into the front bumper now the next videos will probably be with my cell phone because it's getting too dark for gopro to uh, film in this kind of finnish dark weather Now, uh, as you can see, this is a, a wedge shaped like a triangle, this bracket. So I just made a, a small enough hole uh, so I can fit it uh, and uh, screw it in. It, it's actually, it is very, very nicely held in together in this bumper. Just uh, adding some glue, probably making some Sika, Sika glue or something if you want to make it look even more professional, but this is okay for me. And now let's do the wiring. Now we are ready to put the bumper back in. Uh, the wiring goes from here, from here, up from here, and goes straight into the battery. Um, remember to use a 10 amp or bigger uh, fuse here. Uh, I will be probably changing this if this blows, but uh, everything should be okay now to put the bumper back in. Okay, so LED bar has been installed. Uh, it is getting so dark. Hopefully you can see something here. Uh, the wirings are very, 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 way much too long. I have like 35 kilometers too much wiring here, so I need to cut them down and I need some bracing for my relay here. Uh, but I've just hooked in so we can test it with this button. I need to put this button into the dashboard also. So I can press this on. Let's see. Boom, look at that. Now the LED bar is so damn bright it is big and bright and it's easy to handle with single button here okay now something about the wiring because the uh, your installation is quite simple and easy the wiring is a bit more difficult and needs some brains so let's uh, uh, talk about wiring now uh, as you can see here uh, it's a bit dark uh, but i have the led bar uh, up in front here Install it. It comes with two wires plus and minus uh, the plus and minus are like 20 30 centimeters long So they are around here um, It has a fuse 10 amp fuse located here and I have protected the wiring from heat or mechanical stress uh, Then uh, after the 10 amp fuse it is quite easily easy to get uh, hands on it's just under that uh, metal here uh, it it comes with two uh, wirings that go straight into a battery the minus side goes straight into battery and the positive side goes into relay now the relay has a positive straight from the battery uh, two wires straight from the battery one to operate the um, electromagnetic uh, electromagnet that controls the relay and one that comes a uh, big uh, wire that feeds the electricity into the LED bar when uh, the relay is connected uh, and then uh, the relays uh, minus side the uh, control side minus goes underneath that um, grommet there and goes through that firewall through the place uh, down there where there is a uh, soft grommet that goes into the cabin now inside the cabin there is a small button just on off button and uh, after the button it goes into my call car alarms uh, negative grounding so and anytime I push the button from there it uh, gets ground the button gets ground and the relay gets ground now it has a positive straight from the battery with a short short uh, wiring so it 
uh, connects the relay and feeds electricity into LED bar. Uh, with this system, if you have fuse here, if you get something difficulty here, uh, maybe a loose connection or connectivity issues or uh, grinding into the chassis, the fuse will blow here. And while uh, when we are using only negative side on that side, not a positive, we don't need any fuses down there. So if that wire breaks and connects into ground, the lead bar just goes uh, goes on. And that uh, then we uh, notice if the button does not work and LED bar is on, so we have a connection issue uh, uh, there. And the worst case scenario is that the fuse blows or the LED bar goes on. Nothing too dangerous about it. Now use a big wire in here, a short big wire here to feed the LED bar with good electricity and use a grounding wire. I suggest uh, use every time a relay and a grounding wire to the button. It is easy to install without a hassle and very very simple to use. Now uh, I will show you the button here and let's see the lead bar. The button is located here. It just comes uh, through here with a simple two abi abico uh, or flat, flat uh, connection. And we push the button here and lead bars goes on. Oh, where's my wiring now? I will be testing this lead bar later in this uh, winter. It is plastic, it's not a glass, it, 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 it bends if I touch here. It's acrylic or plastic. Uh, we'll see how good it holds the Finnish winter and salt on the roads. Uh, if you want to follow me on YouTube, YouTube Team Paranorka, uh, I will be posting more videos there about this lead bar uh, and in most uh, uh, stuff in my Instagram page or my Facebook page. Go follow me there. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike and leave a comment. How uh, did you like my video? How did you like my install? Is it okay? The beam is quite good, but I have not tested it yet. It is very wet and very uh, uh, too... Uh, not so good weather now in Finland. I will be waiting some even more dark and go and test the lead bar out. Uh, it currently draws like 15, 10, 15, 20 amps, um, mainly uh, between the 10 and uh, 14 volts. I have very bad battery there, so it it does not draw that much current. Uh, probably when I get the better battery, it will be more bright. This installation has been very easy and very useful for me, and it looks pretty damn good. I like it very much. So, uh, leave a comment if you want this LED bar. Go into the description. There's a link where you can find this LED bar. It is a 54-inch uh, LED bar. Now, I'm not really sure if it's 54-inch LED bar. Actually, I ordered a bit smaller one, like... 20 to 30 inch but it came this big so I wanted really to install this this very big uh, lead bar and it uh, the installation was very nice um, so see you on the next video bye bye <laughs>